is way more exciting than me mucking out. That's a big wagon. In order to do the concrete, we need the Merlot and Roy is just filling the feeder. TikTok that likes trains. Is it called Francis something? And he's got like a thing that dangles here, and all it is is him like. That was me just then. Help is on the way, dear. Help is on the way. Ah! As she crashes into stuff. I'm coming. Sensibly and slowly. Every time you'd walk into a string line, some voice behind you says, Mind that string line, and you've already done it. <laughs> I am a very important person. The whole project hinges on whether or not I get this right. It's short though. God, it's giving me a head hit. We're talking about very technical laser things. Go down. Planes going over all day and I've missed every single one. I missed a huge big Hercules, you know, with the four propellers just before and I was so cross at myself. <laughs> it's really boring. They're doing drains. It's not that exciting really. No, it's definitely not exciting. The most exciting thing is Gary sticking his hand in the lube. Stop it. <laughs> it's not really very successful. <laughs> That's what Shirley said. <laughs> so just, this is dry mix from the concrete yard. You can't see it. Um, Cause it's in that bucket in front of me. So it's just as easy for us to just go and get this little bit. It's just to bed the drains down um, around the robots. So that is the main job of today is setting up the road. Well, not the road forms cause it's just pieces of wood now. Um, for the cubicle beds and the drains, which is, I, I think it's really boring, but I said that other people might find it interesting, so I've got to do a bit about it. It drains though, really drains, guys, drains. Do you really want to know about drains? Cause. The window's been splashed. Or oh. supplies. We're really good supply buyers at the minute. So I've got a leak on my shower. So uh, I thought I was a plumber. And um, the shower was blocked. And I think actually the children have put something ridiculous down it. Like, you know, a beanie baby or something. Um, so I thought that these things would just pull apart like a normal pipe would do. Obviously not because um, it turns out they use um, this stuff on it and it glues it together so instead of pulling the pipes apart i pulled the pipe out of the shower um which is um, not ideal when you want the drain to work so i have um stepped into my role as plumber um obviously off the construction site where i am a construction expert now um and later i'll be a farmer and yeah i might even be a house whiff later on when i cook some tea I have actually put a roast of pork in, if anyone's interested in my varied skill set today. But yeah, I'm going to go and attempt to become a plumber because let's... How... How... 
how hard can it be? No offense to all the plumbers in the world. Um, but I, I think I could take this on. I think I will be good. I've also lost my Massey Ferguson hat, which I'm really upset about because it's my favorite hat. Um, my, I found this one in down the side of the car. Well, I've lost my Massey one. I think I might have left it at Roy's dad's. So we're on to um, a freebie from the cramp open day, which was in the back of the car. And then I walked over and Gary said, I like your hat and he pulled it off my head. So I had to go and get another one. Abuse from the builders. Concrete panels are just gonna slide in here. Anyone would think the sheep went on a little road trip across here until you look at it and realize that Inky's also been in it. <laughs> Plate. This really silly thing where these guys here um, can fiddle with the light switches and keep turning them on overnight. So now every day i have to turn the main fuse off or every day when we leave just so the lights aren't left on overnight why would you need lights at this time of night charlotte don't be so silly well going up there in the dark with no window is not the best and get it blown in twice. So we've taken the shoot off completely and then we'll just be bucketing, throwing buckets up into the hopper, which I can show you, hold on. The hopper is huge, isn't it? So you kind of fill it up and walk away and leave it. Sorry, you can't see me at all there. The hopper's huge, but because you're now just throwing it into the top, it just means you can't get on with your jobs because you need to keep coming back. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. But need these ones, these ones. Every day or every night. I'm gonna say for the last five years, but I know that's not possible, but it's crazy that it would happen. An owl has sat on the top of here for the last couple of years, let's say. But for more, like longer than an owl would live for, I'm sure. So it must be a different owl that's swapped in the middle. And shit, on this handle here, on the gate latch that I need to touch. So I just wanted to say thank you to the owl You've really made my time. Look, he sits on the corner of this gate, pooing everywhere. But this has happened years consistently, every single day. I should put some wildlife cameras up really and capture the owl in the act, but I've never got round to it. <laughs> but just basic farm jobs, to be fair, while the guys are doing drainage at home, it's nothing we can help with at all. Um, we have absolutely zero drainage expertise. I'm actually strangling myself with a mask right now. That is totally attractive. These guys were TB testing, I think it's on the 5th of March. And then we're gonna start shipping the girls out. To be honest, that is 100% the end of an era. It's found really funny. Apart from the fact that this hat will not stay on my head. I mean, just won't stay on my head. It's found really funny though. These here, these here. Why do they say speaker on them? And that also says speaker they were like many things designed by somebody called speaker or are they actually off a speaker these here are called speaker bobcats don't even have speakers here a plane but i don't know where it's in that direction
Oh, look at that. No, no. Oh, no, he's going to go behind the shed and I'm not going to see him. Oh, you are joking. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Obviously, when you need something out of a giant pile, it's always the things at the bottom. What do you say? Say it. Just so we can get a bit closer. What are you doing? That's a really silly thing to do. Down, fall in, yep. Everything's fallen over in the bloody... They've been here that long. I'll just take them and put them in the scrap so they're not lying about. These clamps on the bottom need to come off. They were just holding the posts up straight. This looks so good. This is um, Dean's template for drains to make sure they're all in the right place. Not that he needs a template because he'd do it right anyway, obviously. But yeah, this is just to keep everything in the right place because it shows where they sit compared to the robots. We. Oui. So 
so I am just strawing out the heifers. Um, these are the girls in the top shed up here. They've got their silage in the manger and that's keeping them out of the way. But they are really silly and they will literally just knock you flying. So I've barricaded myself in with the bobcat and the trough, mm. which is brilliant. And yeah, I'm just strawing out. Desperate to be through here. Okay, 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 I'm doing it. Brought out both um, heifers and the younger heifers a whole year apart, them two sheds, which is kind of funny. And now scrap the cubicles. Here I go. We're having a debate and I want to know what you think. So, calendars, right? Does it bother you that it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Right, let me show you. Done in calendar that obviously I bought purely for the artist. Does it bother you that it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? That purely a royism. The screen was really dirty then. Should I do all that again or just leave it? <laughs> Look what I've just found. I get it now. That picture makes it all make sense. I spoke to a lady at Dairy Tech and she was saying they like them coming out of the robots. But it all makes sense now. Yes. Dairy Tech magazine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's handy. Yeah, I did. I brought that home for Dairy Tech. I should have read it sooner. Right, thank you very much for watching. That was a completely random as hell video. Not quite as entertaining as usual, probably not quite as well done as usual, but I do apologize. Anyway, as always, I appreciate each and every single one of you, especially those of you who have been messaging me on Instagram, little bits of anecdotes to show that you've actually watched the videos, which do you know what? They actually make my day, to be perfectly honest, when you're stuck down here and you're working hard. But yeah, love you long time, and I'll see you next time.